okay so this is part two of uh, my favorite way of propagating figs since I got fat fingers and pushed the, the wrong button <clears throat> and all these is stuff I've already put in there I've already mixed up my uh, pot mix I did not however mix up my fish solution though I'll be doing that anyway something like this We got a lot of leaves in here. I really should have taken this thing out a little soon. Oh, yes. Look at that. Could, could you think of anything better than a root system like that? Maybe, maybe not. We got too much dirt in there. Yeah, everything out there is doing really, really good. I can't believe how everything is doing. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Because I don't usually have luck with, I don't know, random things. And I really, I am convinced that this year is going to be a really good year for me as far as figs go. <laughs> as far as figs go, I'm doing really good. And everybody else's is this too. I'm just fortunate enough to live in a place that the uh, summer kicks in fairly early and I'm, I'm actually not the earliest. Uh, as, as I have found out, whenever I'm commenting on various posts on Facebook fig groups, they tell me that uh, their summers even start earlier than mine, which I'm jealous about because our summers are freaking brutal. And uh, hopefully I get all my plants situated and get in, get them in and, and get them acclimated to this area before it gets too hot because that was my mistake last year, I think. I ordered my plants too late last year. I ordered them around July, June, July of last year. And, and I believe it was so hot that they just couldn't take it. And uh, so I lost two Delson One Grands. Um, and I can't remember, but that one was the one that hurt the worst. Uh, and, and especially because after I bought the first one, it died because I believe it was some compost or something. Maybe it was the heat too. But then I was so careless this, that the, um, Dan Foster, I apologize, I'm sorry, but I killed that second tree too. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but uh, I was acclimating it to the sun and I, and I, I guess I fell asleep. And um, I didn't think it was that late because I felt like I was only asleep for like 20 minutes. But, Apparently it was too long because it zapped it. Anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix up that fertilizer solution, fish solution, and then we will, hold on. I did forget to show y'all something. Sorry. I changed everything up. Well, almost everything, but I, I created my jungle back here because I had some off to the north, just in the north side of the yard, and it was getting shaded out in the end part of the day. But this section right here is like a hot zone um, all day. So um, at the end part of the day, the sun will track down towards this way, and uh, I will still have light all through here till around five ish i guess 
but um, it makes out for uh, this good situation but once they start growing I'm gonna have to figure something out because uh, space is a hot commodity right here so um, I don't know. all right y'all that's the video I'm gonna go ahead and end it here and thank you for sticking around this uh, short little video of mine let me show you how I like to do my how I like to do my uh, propagation the easiest propagation anyway so yep that's it all right y'all till next time uh, be good or be good at it <laughs>